Excellencies, regional connectivity is an important policy plank of my government's vision Central Asia. Central Asian states are stable and growing economies which offer big natural energy resources and a market of 80 million people. Similarly, Pakistan's unique geographical location provides the most economical and shortest available sea route for cost-effective transit trade through Gawadar and Karachi. We are developing Gawadar as an energy, trade, and logistic hub for the entire region to deepen regional integration. Commercial activities have commenced in Gawadar since March 2019. We would welcome cooperation between Gawadar and other ports of the region. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPAC, is the flagship project of BRI. It entails greater connectivity and trade linkages through a network of rail, road, fiber optic, cable, energy pipelines, industrial clusters, and special economic zones. We do not see CPEC project as an exclusive enterprise. We hope CPEC can stimulate further regional cooperation and be the foundation of a much larger connectivity network based on mutual cooperation. Excellencies, regional peace and stability is paramount is of paramount importance for optimal results. I foresee two key challenges in this context. First is the situation in Afghanistan. Second, outstanding disputes, keeping the region fragmented and least integrated for decades. Afghanistan is the natural land bridge between Central and South Asia. Peace in Afghanistan remains the most critical factor in translating this connectivity vision into reality. Our foremost priority is stability in Afghanistan as it directly affects us. Pakistan will continue to support all initiatives for peace and reconciliation, as well as reconstruction and economic development of Afghanistan. We encourage all neighbors of Afghanistan and regional and international stakeholders to work together for facilitating a negotiated political settlement. Excellencies, I just want to make a couple of comments because uh, President Ashraf Ghani mentioned Pakistan's negative role in this uh, conflict going on in Afghanistan. President Ghani, let me just say that the country that is going to be most affected by turmoil in Afghanistan is Pakistan. Pakistan suffered 70,000 people dead, 70,000 casualties in the last 15 years. The last thing Pakistan wants is more conflict. Our economy is finally recovering from one of the most difficult phases which we've been through. And I repeat, the last thing we want is turbulence in Afghanistan. I can assure you that no country has tried harder to get Taliban on the dialogue table than Pakistan. We have made every effort short of taking military action against Taliban and Pakistan. We have made every effort to get them on the dialogue table and to have a peaceful settlement there. To blame Pakistan for what is going on in Afghanistan, I feel, is extremely unfair. I came to Kabul. Why would I come to Kabul if I was not interested in peace? The whole idea was that you should have looked upon Pakistan as a partner in peace. And I feel really disappointed that we have been blamed for what is going on in Afghanistan. What is happening in Afghanistan is over two decades of conflict, deep divisions, and unfortunately, the United States seeking a military solution when there was not one. When there were 150,000 troops, NATO troops in Afghanistan, the greatest military machine, that was the time to ask the Taliban to come on the table. Why were the Taliban going to compromise when the exit date was given? And there were only a few thousand American troops left. Why would they listen to us when they are sensing victory? So I assure you again, we had a long conversation with, uh, I had with President Shokut last night, how we can all the neighbors can help Tajikistan, Pakistan, Uzbekistan, how we can all get together and somehow help the peace process and a political settlement. Because it is in all of our interest, all the neighbors are interested that there should be a peace settlement. There are already 3 million Afghan refugees in Pakistan. We are petrified that there'll be another 
flow of refugees coming in, we do not have the capacity or the economic strength to bear another inflow of refugees. So I can assure you again, if any country is trying its best out of every, all the other countries in the world, it's Pakistan today. The second major challenge to, this, to the connectivity initiative are the regional unsettled disputes, and this is between Pakistan and India. The whole area opens up if Pakistan and India our main issue is Kashmir. If we can resolve that issue, just imagine the impact, the huge market of India on one side, China on the other side, connectivity between Central Asia, Pakistan, it, the whole area changes. And unfortunately, because of our disputes, unresolved disputes, the huge potential remains untapped. Finally, once again, I want to congratulate President Shokat and his team on successful launch of this extremely important initiative. President Shokat, I want to, on behalf of my delegation, especially thank you for the great hospitality you've uh, shown us. The dinner last night where you organized a mix between Uzbekistan cultural show and Pakistan cultural show has deeply touched us because the extent you went to make us feel, uh, to show your hospitality and ma make us feel uh, at home, I want to especially thank you from all my delegation of your hospitality. Thank you very much.